Good evening. Good morning, rather. Another late night discussion. Um, this incident took place in At- in Atlanta. It was a young lady by the name of Denisha Smith. She was 21 years old. An aspiring, um, she was an aspiring, she was an, she wasn't aspiring. She was an OnlyFans model. Entrepreneur, doing well for herself, had her own place. But something tragic took place when she um, moved in a, a young man trying to be a friend. There wasn't any romantic Um, There wasn't any romantic dealings between the two. She was just being a good friend and letting him move in with her. You know, just doing a good gesture, being a good person. And things took a horrible turn because he wasn't contributing anything. And you know, when you live with someone, you can't just freeload for free. You you, you would want to contribute something. You know, you wouldn't want to just live on somebody, you know, for free. Nothing is free. So since this dude was dead weight and he wasn't contributing anything, she put him out. And when she decided to tell him to leave, she was trying to get him to leave. When she decided to put him out, things got ugly. This man, uh, got a gun from someone in the apartment complex and opened fire on this girl, shooting her seven times, brutally murdering her. The mother was heartbroken, distraught. This was a sad, sad case. Uh, You know, this is why you can't do good gestures for people. This is why a lot of people are reluctant when it comes to helping folks. Because you have people that like to take advantage of the situation. You know, you try to, you know, this is why you can't help people right here. This is a clear example. You try to do a good deed, try to help somebody, they end up killing you. Now, this man is going to spend the rest of his life in prison for killing this 21-year-old girl. And you see these incidents time and time again. Women devoting their lives to guys that they are attracted to because even if a woman is friends with a guy even if there isn't any romantic chemistry there she still finds him to be an attractive dude and you see these incidents time and time again these women dealing with these terrible type of men all because they find them attractive, you know, and things end up going left like this. This dude refused to seek employment, they say. Uh, he was just freeloading off of this girl, and I don't blame her. You know, he was dead weight to her. She told him, you know, you got to go. You know, you're not helping me with none of my bills. This rent ain't free. None of the bills in this apartment is free, so you're not contributing anything, so you got to go. And I don't blame this woman. Because nothing is free, and you you know how high everything is nowadays with inflation. Inflation has jacked everything up. Um, you know, middle class is pretty much obsolete. It's either the have or have nots, and you have these types of incidents where these women constantly get caught up with a. Uh, the the devil i'll just say that constantly get caught up with the devil and you can't expect to live with somebody for free and not contribute nothing that's why i say this guy here was definitely a low life type of dude how you feel you gonna live with a woman and not contribute anything and you think she gonna continue to let you live there come on now Nothing in this world is free, but you got some people that want things for free. And this dude felt that since this woman was telling him to leave, 
he felt the need to get a gun and open fire on this woman. Terrible, terrible, terrible case. I saw the story online. I saw the funeral. Um, the mother was just out of it. You know, the pain that that family's going to have to deal with now, you know, and that and that and the mother having to bury her daughter at 21 years old, you know, parents want to be able to, you know, to, they want their kids to be able to say goodbye to them instead of the parents saying goodbye to their child at such a young age. These type of stories are just tragic. And, you know, these type of stories just never come to an end because you have these women who choose these dudes that they're attracted to knowing that knowing they're some of the worst type of guys, you know, and that's why these incidents like this will never come to an end. They'll, they'll always keep happening time and time again. Um, it's just a senseless death, you know, and this is why you have a lot of people nowadays who are very skeptical when it comes to helping folks. In today's world, you can't help people. You know, you want to, you, you know, you, you would like to try to do a nice gesture and help folks. You can't help people because people are evil. You give somebody an inch, they'll run a mile on your behind. I learned that the hard way. You can't help people. You can't go out of your way to do nice things for people because people will definitely take advantage of you. You just can't. People take kindness for weakness. And this guy here definitely took this girl's kindness for weakness. Somebody that's doing you a favor. Somebody that's helping you out. Now it's time for you to help yourself. You know? And this guy just opened fire on this girl like this. I mean, it's just terrible. And I'm sure there were certain things happening in this household that led up to this tragic event. There was some arguing, there was some words going back and forth because these, these type of incidents don't just happen. There was stuff escalating up to this. And this is why you can't help people because people like taking advantage of folks. This girl was ambitious she was on her way to becoming rich, doing OnlyFans. And this is what happened. And, you know, you you know, these women, they never they're not gonna learn. That's the sad part about these types of stories. These women are not going to learn. They're gonna continue to get with dudes that they're attracted to. And 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 these type of incidents are gonna continue to happen, unfortunately. Sad, sad case. Young girl lost her life at 21 years old. The family is grieving. And uh, this young man that shot this girl seven times going to spend the rest of his life in prison. You know, two people life gone down the drain. Over what? Some nonsense. In the, in that funny? Two people life gone over some freaking nonsense. But, you know, these cases continue to happen. It's unfortunate. Uh, you know, but when, when are women going to learn? When are women going to, you know, make, you know, when are women going to stop being so shallow? When are women going to stop being so superficial? I don't think they ever will. Especially with the rise of social media. You know, women ain't going to stop being shallow. They're going to continue to be shallow. That's just the way they are. And um, it's unfortunate. This is a sad story. But this just go to show you how when you elevating yourself and you trying to progress in life, you can't take everybody with you. You can't take everybody with you because people will try to drag. People will drag you down. But this has been another late night discussion. You guys have a great night. Talk to you soon.